Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and it will not print. And I've got a couple, I've already fixed it. And I I wasn't gonna make a video because video I could just tell them how to fix it. But then I noticed that this was a bitmap and it's white and it's blocking out some of his line engine, even the outline. I printed it out and it worked, but I had to make it print. So we're gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, Objects. And for the time being, I'm gonna delete that and delete this. So all we have on this page is this. And it is on page two. And if we go right here, this is the way you had it set up. You had it with a line through the printer. So everything on, and that's how I noticed that this was a bitmap because it shows right there. So even though, you know, you might even have that clear, but I think it was actually, uh, the printer was actually off right there, which is, I think controls all of, I don't know anything about this. I, I've never locked or enabled printing of items. So just check and make sure that is turned to printer and it print. And then you can see everything else you can see and is unlocked. You can see everything. And this is how you could actually take some stuff away. You could take away that bitmap by not showing it. And you could also probably lock it and do things. So on your, you had a page one, which had a lot more difficult stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. Well, actually, it actually printed both pages, but it didn't print all the objects. And uh, I'll look at that too. But anyway, just make sure that anything below page two is locked. Now, this is not that big a deal, but it is. I mean, it's, it's hiding some of your border and some of your balloons. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of that and move it over. Well, let me move it back that one nudge. Let me see how big this thing is. It's less than, so we're going to make it two inches and then move it over. And for the one I'm doing it for, please turn this to zero, zero. You'll be a lot happier. There's no reason. I, nobody's ever been able to tell me a reason to have that. Because if I can, well, let me put that back uh, to 0.25. This is, this is default. So there's, you didn't do that. So if I control D, look what it did. It put it up left, I mean, right and up. So when I want to make a, a carbon copy to work on, I want this to zero, zero. Then when I hit control D, it moved, and I can make as many copies as I want. And they're still on the same line. Now, if we look, if we take a yellow box, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Yellow box, object, order, backup page. You can see all the white bitmap. And that's what, you know, even though you're printing this maybe on a white card, it's taking away some of your items. So we're going to fix this. And we're going to fix it, you know, maybe you do want that shadow. So maybe we're going to leave. I took the shadow away from mine. So let's uh, take this item and we'll trace it. It's real small. Outline trace clip art. And then it's going to take just a few seconds. And it takes a little bit longer because there's a lot, <clears throat> pretty much a lot there. And it doesn't do a perfect job, uh, but we can fix that. So as soon as it gets to 100%, it'll, I'll say OK. And I'm not going to group it by color this time because there's not that many colors. And I'm just going to, uh, what I'm doing, I just want to have a background. Now, it shouldn't take that long. Um, come on. Come on, Correll, you can do it. There we go. Now move that over. And if we look, the white background is gone. So we can leave it exactly like this with the exception that there's some parts missing. We could leave the shadow. I'm going to leave the shadow, but you could very easily remove the shadow by going to object and ungrouping it and then getting the shape tool and select these nodes and and actually get in there, and I'm not going to go through all the nitty gritty, but just uh, delete all these nodes if you want, and you know play with them, and 
Well, my computer is actually really slow today. But you can just delete these nodes and get rid of some of that shadow. But we're not going to do that on this one because he might, you might want the shadow. And that's a lot of extra work. So I'm just going to back up here till we have, whoop, too far, till we have this. Now we've got some broken lines on the glass. So we're going to have to fix them. So what we're going to do, we're going to, the bottle is pretty good, but we're going to go and we're going to left click, right click. And also you must write in this point size and I'm going to change it to a hairline. And also he writes, he draws in yellow. If, if the file came through like I think it did, so you can't draw in yellow on yellow. You know, if I have yellow over here, I can't draw in yellow. I had a little problem trying to figure that out. So hit F12 in your keyboard. It'll say graphic, change it to a hairline and change it to red and then say, okay, now we can draw lines and be, by it's a hairline, it's a lot uh, cleaner looking. We're going to take a three point curve line and go from right there to right there and just give a little bit of a curve. There's some other broken parts right here. And for the one I'm doing this for, take your time and, and do more than I'm going to do. Uh, we could actually, instead of covering this up, well, I need to break it apart. So if you ever can't get your nodes, it's because it's grouped together. So ungroup it. And then as soon as you get your shape tool, you'll have your nodes. So instead of drawing a line there, we can delete all these lines. And then take this, select them both, right click and turn them into a line. So that'll cover up that little fault. Now there's some other faults and I would clean them up here. Now to get, and see this has a shadow. So to get an outline of those bottles and the glass, we're gonna take a rectangle. We're gonna take our smart fill tool. I'm gonna set it on blue so it'll show up on the video. And I'm gonna fill that in. And you can see now we have outline of the bottle. And, and this is the part where you'd wanna fix probably that right there. And you could still fix it now by taking this away. And I don't know if I'd turn that into a line or just bring it like that. Because that's gonna be the shape of your what we're cutting out. Now the bottom is okay. Now I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool. I don't have to change colors, but I'm gonna change colors just so you can see it. And I'm gonna nudge those over. Now you pretty much need to do this one at a time. Here is our good copy, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'm gonna leave the yellow box there. You might be able to group this together, but I think it'll be easier. Do it one at a time. Select it. You have to make sure you select it all because it's got that white box. And go and intersect it. There is a bottle behind there. Now we're going to move this bottle out of the way. And I, I could t I've never done two at a time. You, I could test it, but I think just one at a time is good enough. See, there's our red bottle. Here's our bottle. And if we nudge it back down and over, there's no background. It's transparent. So we're going to get rid of this bottle. I'm just going to hit delete. And I'm going to take these two items and move them over here. So now you have a much cleaner. You can see the balloon. You can see part of a star you know, a little balloon back there. And at this time you could edit those, you know, because now you can see them. We're, we're getting that box. So I'm going to go to object order backup page. So when we try to hit this, well, so what you can also do is hold down the alt key to pick that. Well, you know, for just a second, we're just going to move that box. Oh, it's all grouped together. So go to object group and ungroup it then you should be able to grab that balloon if that's what it is and actually make it bigger. That's a pretty cool graphic, whoever did that. So anyway, you could, you know, move that balloon around, move this star, make this star bigger, um, holding down the shift key. You know, you might want to move it around, but see this way you see the balloon arrow and you've still got your outline. Um, that'll definitely print. And I would just always just take one more rectangle 
and look at everything else. Yellow box trick, object order, backup page, and see everything else is transparent. So the only thing that will print are these items. Your shadow is a little bit fuzzy. Um, if you'd like help on that, because the font is clear, um, I might make part two just to, even if you don't ask, maybe for other people to learn. You know, so the bottle's pretty, the, the glass is pretty good. You know, you could still at this time still change the glass. You know, no, you wouldn't want to do that, but you could, you know, uh, we're going to have to select both these and right click and turn them into a curve because they were a line. Now they're a curve. So we could actually, and see the picture is still there, even though we intersected it. And you could always, if you have X7 or above, which he has X20, um, we're going to make this a little bit bigger and just smooth that bottle up just a little bit. I mean, it's it's 10 times better than it was, uh, you have to admit, and like that right there. Smoothing tool or the shape tool will do that. You know, you could, it, with the smoothing tool, you could actually go too far, but that's pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and thank you for watching.